and a happy new year everyone this is mom shijin welcome back to my channel i am here today to teach you and give you very important tips on how to start your youtube channel for 2021 you have to watch the video until the end dahil marami dito ang hindi ko na apply kaya ituturo ko sa iyo ngayon upang maging mas mapabilis at mas maging effective and practical ang pag start mo ng iyong youtube channel so today, I will be sharing with you eight, eight practical tips. We'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, I'm back. So we are now about to start the eight C's of starting your YouTube channel for 2021. Ayan, so hindi ko na patatagalin, walupong ito na C. Para madali po natin matandaan. Tapos pag na-memorize niyo po at naisa puso niyo itong walong ito, then madali na lang po ang pagsimula ng YouTube channel niyo for 2021. So, are you ready? Alright, so let's go first and foremost, number one C is to create a YouTube channel. And how? It starts with a Gmail account. So number one, kailangan kumuha ka mo na ng Gmail account mo or Google Mail account. So, pagka kumuha ka ng Gmail account mo, pwede ka nang mag-create ng channel mo. Ito yung napakasimpleng way kung paano kumuha ng, ng YouTube channel using your Gmail account. Panawarin niyo po. So that's C. Number one. Let's proceed now to C. Number two. Content. Content. Ang ibig sabihin po nito ay kung anong laman ng iyong video. What is your video all about? Or the niche, the topic that you would like to discuss. Uh, for me, I started with virtual tours. And ito yung nag-click sa akin. So I tried other topics um, about like making a dessert. Pero hindi masyadong nag-work. So for me, my niche is about Baguio and Cordillera. Like this one. This is one of my most successful video. And I was so surprised that it click talaga siya. It's all about Igrots or the Cordilleras. And there, here are other videos that were also successful. All about tourism, Baguio, and history. Everything about Baguio. So napansin ko na kapag Baguio pinag-uusapan, talagang it works for me. So that means my subscribers are interested with the topics about Baguio and Cordillera. Makiklik kasi yan, pwede yan talaga sa panahon or sa timing. So, these are the things that you need to consider when coming up with a content. Number one, is it your expertise? Kasi pag expertise mo yan, people will listen to you. Is it your profession? Are you experienced in it? Para yung mga tao, mayroon silang trust na pupunta sila sa channel mo because they can learn from you. Okay, pangalawa, if you're a good entertainer, then bank on it. Kung magaling kang magpatawa, may kakaiba kang personality, then go for it. Tignan mo si Mimio, si Alex Gonzaga, they're good entertainers. That's why nag-work yung kanilang YouTube channel. Another one is you have an informative content. Diba? Kung like educational videos, tutorial, ganyan. O kaya naman yung ginagawa ko, vlogging, history. Or you also, or meron kang intriguing or napapanahon ng mga issues, ganyan, like si Tulfo, nag-work talaga sa kanya kasi nga, very sensitive at saka very uh, timely lahat ng mga topics na pinag-uusapan nila. And talagang no holds barred. So, depende rin niyan talaga kung anong mag-work for you and kung ano yung gusto ng masa. So, try to search for it at huwag kang mawawala ng pag-asa kung hindi pa nag-work yung topic na napili mo ngayon. In time, it will it will work. Just don't do so. Kasi pwedeng mag-viral yan. Hindi man ngayon, pwedeng bukas, pwedeng next year. Just make contents lang. Gawa ka lang ng gawa. Basta mahal mo yung ginagawa mo, you will never feel that you are working at all. Alright? So, so number three, it's... Okay. Camera and editing. Ito yung isang pinaka-importante equipment na kailangan meron tayo. So, pwedeng yung cellphone mo mismo. Hindi mo naman kailangan ng sobrang mamahalin na camera when you're six. When you're just starting with your YouTube channel, any camera will do. Just that clear, ka clear yung sinasabi mo, then it will work. Okay. So, ano ba yung gamit kong camera? <laughs> Ayan, so I'm using a simple camera, and then I just you know I edit from my phone. So speaking of editing, what is my editing tool or application na ginagamit ko? Pag sa cellphone, napakaganda ng Time Master. I use Time Master at saka Filmora Go. So nagavail ako ng um, 
lifetime uh, subscription sa Filmora Go, which is uh, very affordable naman. So, pero marami tayong mga application na free. Mag-explore ka lang. Kahit merong watermark dyan or logo ng app, then it's fine. It doesn't matter. Yung importante dyan is yung content mo. Okay? Now, let's proceed to number four. C, number four. Number four is truly important kasi ito yung nagka-catch ng attention ng mga tao. Hulaan nyo kung ano to. Siyempre, by the time na makapunta ka dito, dapat tapos na yung video na take mo na, na edit mo na in everything. So, this letter C is what we call a cover or thumbnail. Tinawag ko lang siya na cover para maging C pa rin siya, di ba? Pero this is famously known as thumbnail. Ano nga ba yung thumbnail? Ang thumbnail is like a snapshot of your video. So, pag gumawa ka ng video, bago mo siya i-upload. Okay, meron kang may ibibigay sa YouTube na three choices ng thumbnails. Kaso nga lang, minsan, yung mga choices sa thumbnail natin is minsan wagas. Diba na pag-ganyan ka, o kaya ganyan, o kaya lang, ganyan. <laughs> ang hirap pamili tayo. Kaya ang suggestion ko sa inyo, gumawa kayo ng sarili yung thumbnail. Kasi ang paganda, pag gumawa ka ng thumbnail mo, malalagyan mo siya ng text, o kaya naman, uh, malalagyan mo ng kung anong gusto mo na makita ng mga tao as a representation of the video. Okay? So, para siyang cover ng iyong video. So, bigyan ko kayo ng tip. How do I make my thumbnail? I first, ang tip ko sa inyo first, to so, i-drawing mo o kaya gumawa ka ng sketch. Uh, para ma-visualize mo anong magiging setup or itsura ng thumbnail mo sa video pag nakita ng mga tao. Are there texts na gusto mong ilagay or photos na gusto mong i-overlay dun sa video mo? If you really want your video to be attractive, make an effort to polish your thumbnail para presentable siya at the same time very attractive sa mga manonood. Na parang, wow, this is nice. Wow. And professionally done. I started my thumbnail using my phone. So, yung photo na tinake ko of myself, talagang ko lang yan ng, ng text. Okay? Kung gusto mo na may text lang siya, pero kung gusto mo may overlay ng other photos, o kaya naman, ibahan yung background mo, yung mga ganyan. So, maybe you would need to have na Photoshop. So, isa rin na ginagamit ko is Photoshop sa computer ko. Recently, dahil gusto ko madali lang talaga yung paggawa ng thumbnail at the same time, very convenient, I downloaded this app. Ayan. Itong app na yung ginagamit ko right now. So, that is C number 4. Okay. Alright. So, number 5. Letter C Number five. Okay, number five natin is one of the things na na-miss out ko when I was starting. Pag hindi ko pa kasi alam noon about this, that is copyright. Okay, copyright means that there is a right of ownership of a certain music or a video. Let's say for example, gumamit ka ng music ng ibang tao. Diba? Pwede kang makapiray. Siyempre, may intellectual property kasi yung mga music. So, pinakirapan nila yan, sarili nila yan. So, intellectual property sila doon. That's why they have a copyright. So, that means you cannot earn from that video or music or merong shared. Pwede kayong mag-share doon sa profit. Pero, in my suggestion, as much as possible, ang gagawin ninyo, ito yung number one at biggest mistake that I have done dito sa YouTube channel ko. Kasi I have two videos doing well, tapos na-copyright. Nalaman ko na lang yun when I was already monetized. So I did not know na kailangan pa pala i-check if meron kang copy copyright infringement o kaya naman may copyright yung song na yun or music na yun. So, sayang, ito yun. So, it has thousands of views na. Pero, shared kami yung copyright. At least, shared. Ang masaklap is yung nag-reuse ka ng content mo, yung video ng iba. Tapos, ginamit mo. Talagang hindi na iaalaw yun. So, mag-ingat lang din kayo. Okay, so here's my tip para malaman mo kung may copyright or wala yung gagamitin mong video or music. Okay, number one, you go to websites na nakalagay of free songs or no copyright songs. I-type mo lang yun and then it will lead you to websites with no copyright. Okay, ako ang ginagamit ko on freemusic.com or bensound.com. Bensound.com is really good. Pati sound effects, pwede mo, rin din, pwede mo rin i-search kay Uncle Google or kay Uncle G yung uh, free sound effects. Search mo lang, it's like yung laughing, like, <laughs> okay, yung mga ting, mga ganyan. At marami pang iba. Okay, so, alright. Para sure, meron pang isang paraan para malaman kung may copyright pa o wala yung video mo. Okay, ang tip ko sa inyo, ting 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 is that before mo gawing public ang video mo, you try to 
upload it as private first. And then you go to your YouTube studio and then check if merong copyright claim or wala. So kung walang copyright claim, then that's the time pwede mo nag-public yung video mo. Kasi it's a waste of time if you have uploaded it already and then you have gained views, watch, and uh, subscribers through that video. Tapos biglang may copyright pala. And then you uh, you deleted it. Saya yung mga views at saka watch mo from that video. Perfect! Alright! Okay. So, C number 6. Number 6 refers to um, friendship with other YouTubers. And I call it the collaboration. Importante kasi ang collaboration because it is a means so that you can learn from other YouTubers and at the same time, they can also help you get ahead and grow your channel. You you are helping each other. Actually, when I started YouTube, I started on my own. I was alone and then eventually I was invited by, by a friend to, to join one of their groups. And then sabi ko, oh sige, I try ko, why not? Pero it's been few months already since I started. Kung alam ko lang sana na pwede pala yun or pwede pa lang mag-join ng group, sa simula at simula pa lang, di sana mas mabilis kong nag-grow yung channel ko at na-monetize din ako ng mas mabilis. But of course, everything happens for a reason. Maganda rin siguro na na-experience ko yung mag-isa ako para ma-compare ko kung ano yung benefits of having a group or a collaboration with other YouTube members. So, uh, I suggest that you find a group where you can collaborate with, you can partner with, so that you can grow your channel fast. And at the same time, you gain friends, right? And tip number seven is napaka-importante. Kung yung thumbnail will invite your viewers to watch your video, this letter C naman will retain your viewers until the end. And this is charm or personality. Okay, kung ang video mo, eh, nakaharap ka sa mga tao, Pero napaka-boring mo. Ante, maboboring sila. Hindi talaga sila manonon until the end. You will just be wasting making videos of your own. Unless napaka-importante mong tao at napaka-importante ng pinag-uusapan mo or discuss mo. But generally, it would be nice to level up that energy and present yourself to be charming and you have that great personality that will retain your guests. Hindi sila mabore. Alright, so we are now down for our last Say, in order for you to start your YouTube channel this 2021. So, kung yung number one natin, letter C, is creating a channel and channel name, itong number eight naman natin is channel requirements. One of the major reasons why people are going into YouTube is of course they want it to earn. So, they want their channel to be monetized. Of course, diba? But if you want your YouTube channel to earn, these are the requirements for you, okay? So number one is you have to have 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 legitimate subscribers of your channel, okay? And then YouTube will um, notify you, let's say YouTube Studio, if your channel has reached 1,000 already. Okay, so requirements number two. Your channel as a whole should gain 4,000 watch hours within one year or 365 days. Just comment below kung gusto ninyong bigyan ko kayo ng tips on how to reach that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours ng mabilis. Kung alam ko lang tong mga strategies na to, nung una pa lang, di sana natapos ko na agad rin naman. So there you have it! Those are the basics of starting your own YouTube channel for 2021. Sana po nagustuhan nyo yung ating tutorial for today. If you want to know more, then please do not forget to subscribe para updated kayo sa mga susunod nating mga videos. And syempre, you can also visit my Facebook page, Mom She Dread. Ayan, so huwag kakalimutan, be safe, keep the faith, and be happy! Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig. Na-appreciate ko po ang yung pagdala ko sa akin. Thank you very much! And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Love you all!